I finished 12th in the global tourney with this balloon deck. Hey, let's to the top. Mm, nobody can push us down. So real quick, I'm going to play live ladder matches this video, but I wanted to give you a quick rundown of the games that I played in the Global Tourney. You can see I'm just like playing it versus random matchups. Beat this Lava Hound deck. Pretty good versus Lava Hound. Beat a bunch of Lava Hound. I beat all these Bomb Tower decks by using this quick bats trick. Quick tip versus any building if you place your balloon above the chain like this and then use bats on this tile, you can bypass the building with the balloon. And then you can see consistently, I did lose to a Hog Rider deck, which was probably just a bad play on my part. I beat all this Golem. I beat an Ice Bowl deck, which was actually pretty difficult. I lost to this Graveyard deck because I failed the Bats trick like twice, and I overspent on Elixir and ended up losing. Because of that, I actually could have definitely won that matchup if I didn't fail. And then... Again, you can see I'm just beating all these Bomb Tower decks. But then I got to the end of the tournament and I was versus Golem, which was a pretty hard counter. I barely lost that game. But then I got into the range of Zeppe, like two wins away from him, and I was worried that he was going to snipe me again with Golem. So I decided to switch to Pekka, and then I ended up facing another another Golem player who, who I think tried to counter me. I'm not too sure. I won that matchup. And then I played again like 10 minutes later. I beat Zeppe. And then I played again like 10 minutes later. And Zeppe switched decks to counter my Pekka deck. And he ended up winning. And even though you can see the Pekka counters this Golem deck. But it kind of gets hard countered by the mini Pekka Golem. Because Poison is pretty much useless in this matchup. So that was the end of my global tournament run. Here we go. With this deck it's a little bit different than the last variation I shared. It's okay to... Be splitting your bats for his play. Though you're seeing he goes to the Hog Rider, so we're just gonna defend. And now we're even on Elixir, so I might as well just send the Miner with these counter pushing bats. See what he does. Okay, so probably gonna be the Spear Goblins Bats Hog Cycle deck. So I'm just gonna hunt her here. Is what I'm thinking. Just barely stays alive. Okay, he uses log. But we get the miner down, get some damage on the tower. I don't go to the safe spot because he doesn't have tornado. So now we wait for his next play. We go with their ice golem. Don't think he has hog back in cycle yet, but we have the hunter if he does. You know what? We're going to bats that and then go minor. He has to use world delivery, which is not really that good of an answer. We're winning on tower damage right now. We can attack with the balloon, but at the same time, like we're not going to unless we seem to be up elixir, which just hasn't happened yet. So we're willing to just minor chip him out at this point in the game. So probably going to. No hits, right? Yeah, nice roll delivery. So maybe I split lane pressure him. No, we'll just wait for now. Oh, shoot. I may have uh, messed that up just a little bit with the bats. But we're going to take his tower. He's not going to take our tower. So in the end, we're coming out ahead on that trade. Even though I, I failed my bats. No, we don't deny the hit. Then he plays an Inferno Tower. Good Inferno Tower on his part. So we're going to just pre-place our Hunter here. 
probably just go minor to the safe spot. Okay, he does that. So I'll balloon over here. I mean, I don't even know what I... I know what I said, but I don't even know what I meant. You know what? Just gonna snowball that. Preplace our hunter. Go with maybe the pocket balloon. Or now nah, I'll just go here. Go in the back where he can't predict. Log should be able to kill that pretty well. Not gonna be worth it to snowball now. Split our bats. I guess it's a. The hog's gonna come down soon, right? Yeah, where's. Where's this man's hog rider at? I mean, we're, we're really just going for minor chip. It's not looking like we're gonna actually break through with our balloon. Keep in mind, he doesn't have an answer to bats, so that's like. Automatic defense. See if we can get something done here. Locked. Kill that. I need to deny the hit. Oh, nice, it doesn't get hit. That's perfect. Probably no way he predicts there, right? So now, as long as we... Just knock it all back... There's no way he breaks through, okay? GG for the first game. I didn't even utilize my balloon bats trick properly, but we still got the win just because... Got a ton of minor chip damage. And the Inferno Tower is so expensive, right? Sure, it defends a balloon every single time, but he's never getting a positive elixir trade, and it's always like tanking or at least making his the opponent have to spend elixir in two places at once. Then you can't defend the miner, and that's how we won, just by minor chip damage that game. So probably gonna ice golem in the back here. Just nope, we've got the log. Perfectly timed log. Notice how we have triple spells, so like I'm always willing to log. He has goblin barrel, I don't care. I can just roll delivery it. So I'm going to put a little bit of a higher Ice Golem since it's a bait deck. Um, just going to delay. I played roll delivery so I had to leak less elixir than if I didn't. Kind of go here. There's the sap. And man, unfortunately you can see I don't have the best cycle. Hopefully that gets down in time. It barely does. Wow. I don't think we could have snowballed that to King Tower. You saw I did not have a too good of a hand to defend Prince. Because I was one card off my ice bone, so I kind of had to cycle like an awkward hunter. Oh, interesting. Well, well, well played Goblin Gang in his part. So what does he have? Kind of a weird deck in his part. I think I'll log save my snowball for his bats. It's not going to have the Goblin Gang in cycle, so I'm not too worried about that. You know what? And a bat's here in defense, a miner expecting a zap. Yep, there the zap is. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta be prepared for those small spells on your troops. That fully counters. No problem there. Shouldn't. I don't think that gets hit on my tower, but even if it does, it's only going to be one, so I'm not too worried about it. Just going to send a lone balloon. I have a bad cycle. You kind of have to do that sometimes. Hover the snowball. Nope, we just got to let that die. Play Hunter over here. Predicting it. Oh, wow, I didn't need the Hunter, but I thought I did. I messed up. If 
Fail. Fail. I guess I just decided I'll keep it alive. And man, we can maybe attack soon here. I think it's going to be worth it to attack now. You know what? I, I needed that balloon to connect. Did I win? Wow, taking some damage from my tower and snowballing that Inferno Dragon... <laughs> and snowballing that Inferno Dragon actually just won me the game there. Super close matchup. But we got it. So I'm thinking a split bats here to start it off. Then we'll go with the ice golem. Split bats because I had a minor and cycle. Especially since the minor nerf is not as good as it used to be to cycle minor first play. Not necessarily a bad play, but yeah, just not as good as it used to be. So I see a wall breakers potential. Oh, he does this deck. Almost didn't get down that ice golem in time, but we did. So I think he has the bomb tower variation, right? This is going to be a good time. We're going to go balloon and then miner. That way, if he activates king tower, we got the miner at least gain some chip damage on his tower. He's choosing not even to activate king tower. You want to do that versus balloon decks a lot. Use a balloon to tank for the miner. Wait, wait to see what he wants to do now. Oh my gosh. I failed. I messed up. You know, we gotta defend this. Like so. What is he? His deck is so weird. I don't think he has a building. I actually don't really know what he has. We actually are. We have more damage on his left tower now. I'm just gonna go with the balloon again. Like, let's see if I snowball it. He also has this tornado, so I'm definitely just gonna snowball. I'm gonna use Royal Delivery here on defense. Miner in the back because yeah, you can't tornado it to King Tower. Replace our hunter, and this is gonna be a valuable world delivery. Fortunately, that's not gonna. Ooh, it's too bad. I should have gone miners to the back. No way that gets a hit. That actually just got a hit on the tower on that one. Dang, I wasn't even expecting a hit on the tower. I was just playing my snowball to cycle, and I was like, maybe I get a hit, but I didn't really expect it. But either way, we got the win. <laughs> we got the win just because of that crazy snowball. Okay, my man is going bats first place, so we're just gonna hit up the miner in the opposite. Oh my! That's a hit on my tower. Yikes, that was pretty aggressive on his part. I think I shouldn't have logged. Maybe I should have played the ice golem instead of the log, and I wouldn't have got hit on my tower. So we're just gonna go here for the counter push. What? 
He's probably the freeze earthquake dude. Or he's probably using that deck if I had to guess. So I'll just use myself some defensive bats here. Fully counter at that and then go in the back since he's not going to have the tornado. We'll see if he predicts it. I'm just going to let that go at this point to be honest. Bats still lock onto the tower for a little bit of damage. Oh. So we're going to use the Ice Golem to tank a little bit. And then... Dude, this has to get damage on- like, he doesn't have Elixir, there's no way. We're taking his tower, it's gone. It- okay, it's not gone. So he has Musketeer in his deck, Musketeer- wait. Nah, he just has the classic Giant Graver. I don't know, I was confused about something at first. But he just played really aggressive. He has classic giant griefer. You know what? I'm just gonna solo balloon. We're going for it. Oh, he has nothing in hand. I'll hover snowball just in case. I was actually gonna balloon snowball his musketeer for a hit on the tower. But we don't need to do that now. I'll probably just let my right tower go if he decides to... Uh Yeah, we're just gonna let this tower die. I'm gonna go ahead and snowball all that. We're looking really good. Oh, look at that prediction miner on the musketeer. Even though I wasn't even trying to predict it, I was just playing it. Taking his tower. He's. We gotta be careful he doesn't take our tower here. We got it. That's game. GG, brother. Quite aggressive on your part. Playing bats. Mini P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard first play. That was definitely a, not a good play on your part. But, uh... Giant Graveyard players do be doing that, though. To end off this video, I just really quickly want to show you one game that I just thought was a really good game. I, felt, I feel like my opponent played pretty well, and I feel like I was really in the zone this game. There's a lot of interesting plays that... Maybe you can learn from this. So here we go. So he he wants to go heal spirit first play, so I'm just splitting my bats to defend that. Then you can see, look at my cycle. My cycle's pretty bad. I am totally willing, just because of the power of the three spells, I'm totally willing to balloon first play, like actually. Um, if he, obviously if I'm going opposite lane, if it's pushed, not really expecting to get damage on the tower. But I'm fine doing it. Even if he has tornado, at least I'm getting to hit on his tower. Tour, you can see he goes all in and I just get a ton of value on that roll delivery barely finish off the balloon with the hunter but it, overall it's a quality defense and you see here I realize this deck but I don't know if he has goblin cage or um, no building so I actually go minor and you can do that sometimes if you're thinking that your opponent isn't gonna have like a ton of elixir in their hands but you're worried that the troops are gonna counter your your like counter pushing hunter you can use that miner, and you see I attacked on low elixir here actually, because I knew I had the elixir advantage, and I knew he didn't have bass in hand, and so I was just thinking like I can probably get a hit on his tower. You can see he did a really nice defense, really good musketeer placement. I didn't get a hit on his tower, but I still got the tip damage. Finished it off with the log, and we're ahead. We're ahead by the chip damage right right here. So I'm going bats in the left lane to predict his balloon in case he wanted to play it at the bridge you'd have to overspend um minor in the back probably just gonna snowball yep snowball to clean up those bats so then we're kind of just waiting for our opponent to make a move here he decides to go in with the juke ice golem i just hunter anyway no no, no not hunter i play the royal delivery i was about to say hunter would be a bad play and you can see here he doesn't have enough elixir for snowball so, oh, he barely gets down that snowball in time. Actually, super, like, I don't know, perfect timing on his part. I'm just willing to pretty much attack here. I'm trying to get chip damage on his tower. Um, in, in, like, the balloon mirror match like this, a lot of times, like, if, especially if you're going opposite lane, whoever's attacking with the balloon first is going to have the advantage. You can see I have such a cheap defense in the hunter to his balloon. I'm willing to overspend. I try to block the bridge here. It doesn't really work out too well. 
But uh, I still get the defense, and since I played all my troops high, he's not going to get death damage from my tower. At this point, I'm just really trying to finish off the game, and you really got to do this a lot with Boon Cycle. I'm going to snowball his range troop, and snowballing the range troop, you can do that versus Electro Wizard versus Hunter. It's going to allow your balloon to get that final hit on the tower to finish off the game. And that is GG. So I felt like there are a couple tricks I used in that match that are really good. I used like the minor trick right on top of my hunter, which didn't actually end up working out in, out in that scenario. But sometimes it works out like if they don't really have a good cycle, you don't necessarily always play your minor on the tower. You can even use it to predict like Electro Wizards. You can see I used a snowball on the range troop. That's one trick you got to do a lot. And then another thing I did was I quick drop my balloon ice golem. That way I could more quickly cycle to another balloon. And I also failed, but I tried to use the ice golem to block the lumberjack at the bridge, which is really important to block your opponent's tank versus a lot of different decks. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this style of video. I wasn't sure exactly what to do for this video because I didn't record my, my global tournament games live. So please let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and Vulcan out.